Hey everyone, this is Mark from Newsweed.com. Mark Nedjima, just a regular investment. Newsweed.com is kind of my hobby, uh, trying to make a business out of it. Uh, I do a lot of uh, uh, videos, I cover the news. Uh, we have other journalists around the country. Uh, I'm retired from the roofing industry, so now I just kind of try to gather as much information that interests me. Uh, I got lucky investing, as you know. Uh, I bought a lot of shares of BNGO and the price has been fluctuating all over the place. Uh, I'm now looking at Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is something that uh, everyone should uh, think about. So I went to a conference last week, as I explained, and I talked to uh, Kathy Woods after she made a presentation. I specifically went up to her and I asked her, uh, I said, I have a million shares of Bionanogenomics. What do you think? She says, well, my analyst feels that it's not scalable. I asked her, do you think I should sell the shares? She told me that she doesn't feel like she should tell me anything regarding that. Uh, I then said, I appreciate her comments regarding faith. And that was the end of the discussion. Very simple, small discussion. Now I will say this. I believe that Kathy Wood is a very decent and honest person that runs a business that depends on information that her employees give her. I don't think a person of this stature could know every little detail about what's happening in every industry she's interested in. She's the visionary. She's the person that says, yes, AI is important. Yes, genomics is important. Yes, uh, other areas are important like Bitcoin and like EV. But she cannot know every little detail. What I gathered from her is that she reaches inside herself in a spiritual way and tries to be directed by every power in the world possible. And perhaps sometimes, as we saw with Zillow, she gets bad information and she has to make quick decisions. I don't think she makes every trading decision. And when it comes to bionanogenomics, she said specifically, my analyst feels that it's not scalable. So what I've done in the past couple of days is I went to the people that have big amounts of due diligence that they've done, much more than I've done, and I've asked them to make presentations. I went to Messenger Moistfield, I went to uh, Mr. Investalot, and I went to Brandon. I think Mr. Investalot did the best job. He definitely made an argument and a presentation to Kathy Woods uh, explaining where he feels the benefits are. I would hope that Kathy Woods would, uh, Kathy Wood would start to uh, take a look at some of the information that's out there. Um, I think that many people have tried to speak to Simon. I will try to speak with Simon myself and sit down with him uh, because I want to know what he knows. I, I, if he's telling me that BNGO doesn't have any future, I definitely want to know about that. And I want to maybe change my ways, but right now I'm not selling the stock because I don't see any problems with the company. I'm gonna tell you specifically how everything came down. Okay. After I met with Kathy Woods, I immediately contact Eric Holman, and this is what I said. Mr. Holman, I just had a meeting in Tampa with Mrs. Kathy Wood and asked her about your company. I asked her specifically what her thoughts was. She said her analyst believes bionanogenomics is not scalable. I went further and said, if I were you as a CEO, I wouldn't want someone saying that about my company in the investment community. He responded back within about an hour. The response was SMH exclamation point. I guess shake my head. BioNano is infinitely more scalable than PacBio. So I don't know why she, forward slash Simon, Cite scalability, and with the future VRN of Sapphire, 
we believe we will reach 17,000 genomes per system per year and 70,000 genomes per year in a work cell. PacBio customers are lucky to get one or two genomes per week. That's not scalable. And what do they plan to use for software? That's exactly how things went down. I felt compelled to tell the rest of the community that this happened. Because if people were to believe uh, Kathy uh, Wood Arc G, uh, his company, then they certainly wouldn't buy uh, Bionanogenomics. Why would they, if such an expert uh, uh, analyst was saying this? But, with the pressure that we see Kathy Wood under lately, maybe she needs some assistance seeing with her own eyes, and maybe her analyst needs to step aside and bring this information to her. That's the key. We all want to know and make sure that bionanogenomics is the right investment for us. We don't want to be investing in a company that cannot perform. Why do we have such belief in this? Because we've been told, we've heard customers uh, at, at conferences tell how fantastic the Sapphire machine is. We've seen the actions of the company buying software that is used in the genomics industry growing the number of machines more than we expected for the third quarter. I think it's important that we help Kathy Woods. We'll never have another Kathy Wood in this world. Another woman that has so much vision for the world, for the better of the world. We need to see Kathy Wood succeed. And I'm asking all of you to bring this information forward. Kathy Wood is a special person I would say she's as special as genomics itself. So let's get together, contact your people that are spreading the word on Bionano. Let's make sure that this is the right investment for Kathy Wood and let's help her succeed because she truly is a great person. Thanks for your time and thank you to Mr. Investalot, Brandon, Momo Genomics, and everybody else out there that was waiting for this video. I just wanted to tell you all that at the summit, Kathy Wood specifically said, hey, if you guys know something different, tell me. I think that's a cry for help. I think that's a person that's concerned with making the right decisions for right people. Kathy Wood pointed out pancreatic cancer, how devastating that is. It's terrible. I personally lost my former father-in-law to pancreatic cancer. This is not something you mess around with. If bionanogenomics can help in that area, can help in any area, can help in, in, in with the heart, with the lungs, with anything, with cancer, then we need to get this product out. And I'll tell you right now, I believe Kathy Wood will invest in bionanogenomics if, if this is the right tool for the medical world, and if we can get the message to her, because undoubtedly, Kathy Wood is one of the greatest human beings to ever be involved with turning the investment world into a world of hope. Support Kathy Wood. Thanks.